So let me quickly show you how to solve this very interesting Hakaran challenge. It's called Top Earners and it has a score of 20 per tile of 20. Okay, so I kept the two windows open. So we are gonna read the question read the question here. I'm gonna also be solving it as I'm explaining. So we have we define an employee's total earnings to be the, their monthly salary times months worked and the maximum total uh, total earnings of them to be the maximum total earnings for an employee in the employee's table. Write the query to find the maximum total earnings of all the employees as well as the total number of employees who have maximum total earnings. Then print the two values as a space separated integer. So the best thing to do to approach a problem like this is to break it down into chunks. So we want to find the first, we want to first find the maximum total earnings in the table. So if you scroll down here, you see the total earnings is month times salary, month times salary. So we want to find the maximum of this total earnings. So you get it like this, select max uh, months times months uh, times salary from employees. All right. So this is the maximum total earnings. And now we want to find which employees in this amount, all right? So it means that we have to modify our query, okay? And again, let's just find the maximum total earnings for all employees. So permit me to take this to the clipboard. So I'm going to say select max salary times months from employees. All right, so in this case, I'm doing it for all the employees uh, at this point. So it's actually employee and not employees. So now I want to find out the count of how many employees. Uh, so this is the max. So I can actually take out this. We want to find out how many employees that have their total earnings equal to the max, maximum total earnings. So permit me to run it one more time. So we have the total earnings of all the employees. We now want to find the employee, the count of the number of employees who have the maximum total earnings, which I put on my clipboard. That is this, who have their salary times months equal to this value here, okay? So that becomes simple. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to cut this to my clipboard. So I'm going to say select, select count, I'm going to say count, uh, because we need to uh, specify the total earnings and then the count. So first, let's say select. All right, so the first thing we want to display is the total earnings, which I have on my clipboard. So I'm going to put it right here as a subquery. So we want to display this. Already you know that this is a total query. Okay, that is fine. And we also want to display the count, okay? We also want to display this, the count. So what, how we dis what count are we displaying? We want to count the number of employees where the salary, their salary times months is equal to this. So I'm going to select count, uh, count, which is count star from employees. This time I'm going to say, permit me to just take out this. So I'm going to put a where clause where their uh, total earnings, which is months times salary, where their total earnings equals the maximum total earnings. What is the maximum total earnings? We already have it here. Let me just copy it and paste. Uh, and it's just as simple as that. So let me call it, let, let me call it max for now, but so I can put from employees. Okay, so basically I'll simply replace this max with this value here, which you already calculated as you already know. So I'm going to just copy this and just replace this max and that's all. So we are going to now, I'm going to leave this one and remove this one. <laughs> Sorry about this. So this is count of the employee where their total earnings is equal to the maximum total earnings. I'm going to run it now and let's see what we have. And it works, so you can see it works. I'm going to submit the code now. And again, the secret is when you are given a problem, simply try to break it down into two parts or into, two, or into chunks of even two or more parts 
and solve them separately and then fuse them together. I'm going to stop here. Remember to subscribe to my channel and remember I'm kind of the genius and I'm always there for you.